All right guys, today uh, I wanted to do a quick tip and uh, we are gonna be talking about calculators because smart people use calculators, right? So I'm not gonna be talking about this kind of calculator. Um, I am gonna be talking about a lead alloy calculator. I'm gonna show you uh, what a lead alloy calculator is and kind of briefly just how to use it and where to get it. This one I have, I got off of uh, the Cast Bullets uh, forums and it is made by Bumpo628 and I think it's been revised several times and uh, b there have been contributions made by uh, other users. But what this spreadsheet or what this calculator can do is it can tell you, well, it does so many things, uh, but what it can do is it can help you to calculate your uh, hardness of your alloy, uh, the cost, the um, percentages of uh, tin, antimony, copper, silver, lead, arsenic, uh, all the contents of your um, of your lead alloy that you're going to be casting bullets from, and so what this allows you to do is to say, for example, uh, I have like two or three different alloy sources. Uh, one of them is uh, from stained glass window scrap. Uh, I have a friend who works at a stained glass window shop, and he uh, I buy the scrap from them and they turn it into pizza money or whatever. And the other alloy I get is, uh, there's a guy on Facebook that I, I order um, scrap. It's, it's a mix of foundry type and monotype. And so it is really hard stuff, uh, hard enough that you could just snap it in half. It won't bend, it'll just snap. And so I have this super hard alloy and then I have this stained glass window scrap. And then also uh, occasionally I get some uh, really pure stuff. The, the stained glass windows uh, scrap is is pretty pure and soft also. So what that allows me to do is to say, uh, for example, in a casting uh, manual, there are uh, known alloys that you cast with and some of them, for example, are say linotype, um, pure lead, uh, 10 to 1, 20 to 1, um, Lyman number two, hard bo hardball alloy, um, lots of different kinds of, of, of alloys. And uh, so each of those has a known content of tin, antimony, lead, and uh, copper, silver, lead, uh, arsenic. Uh, if uh, the manual calls for uh, Lyman number two, uh, then I can look at this calculator, the spreadsheet, and I say, okay, that has 5% tin, 5% antimony, uh, that's that's it. And then the, the rest is lead. Um, so it's like 90% lead. Uh, and it will have a Brunel hardness of 15. So say I want to do uh, like a Lyman number two alloy, but I just have these two al uh, lead alloys that I have, which is, uh, you know, say like pure lead and the monotype. So what I can do is I can see, okay, it has a uh, Brunel hardness of 15. I can enter in on this lead alloy calculator um, how many uh, pound ingots of each that I will put in and it will tell me the Brunel hardness of my alloy and, well, an estimated hardness. And then in uh, so I can get an alloy that is very close to uh, the Lyman number two, even though I don't have the specific Lyman number two alloy. And that's the same thing if I wanted to make a, you know, like a hardball alloy or um, some, uh, some of the others, like, uh, what are some of the others? Like 40 to one, 30 to one, 25 to one, um, uh, wheel weights, and uh, so I can, I can use the alloys that I have and uh, come up with 
uh, some of these other well, more well-known ones if that's what I want to do. Um, the other thing it allows me to do is say, uh, if, if I just want to say experiment. Um, so for example, the, the last video I did uh, testing the Lyman pot, I did four uh, ingots of, of the soft pure stuff that I had just melted down. Um, it is really close to pure. And then I did one ingot of the monotype. Then you can go down and you can see that it is 1.8% uh, tin, 3.8% of antimony, uh, no arsenic, copper, silver, and about 94.4% uh, lead. And the estimated hardness is about 126 and that's about what I was hoping to get with um, those 45s. I didn't need anything really hard or really soft. I just wanted something that was a little bit softer. It's in 45 ACP, uh, maybe some 45 cold. So that's that's how you can use this alloy calculator to uh, kind of estimate your your Brunel hardness and your content of tin and and antimony and lead and and whatnot so smart people use a calculator and smart casters can use a lead alloy calculator so until next time later